Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge and in today's episode there'll be some of this <laughs> there'll be one of these and there'll be a little bit of this behold but before all that look at this do that all day I love that sort of stuff anyway enough of that that's done now so listen I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who has sent me messages and little comments and emails and stuff just checking in to make sure I'm okay uh, I haven't done a video for a while as you all know I've been extremely busy I'll tell you about that in a moment but just thanks that's really really nice of you um, you know who you are and uh, yeah appreciate it I did reply to all of you just explaining what's been going on so yeah it's been a while I haven't done a video for ooh, a month or something like that uh, uh, because I've been rather busy with the whole COVID-19 situation. Uh, I've been working on um, some, uh, well, emergency software for an organization. Um, and I've also been working on some software of my own um, as well. I've created a, a website called 3darmy.org um, for healthcare workers to register their organizations um, and request 3D printed face visors like these guys. I'll put this on for you. There we go. And for 3D printers like myself, if you own a 3D printer, think about this, to be able to go online and to register and help and to search for uh, local organizations who need this type of stuff and to print out and to donate and to send to them as well. So if you do own a 3D printer, I would really appreciate it if you jump on 3darmy.org um, and uh, register and have a have a bit of a search around. I've had some problems advertising it uh, because it breaks every sensitive events policy Google has uh, and Facebook and LinkedIn, nobody will accept advertising for it. So it's a bit frustrating because I've created a, an agency website for people who need help to, to meet people who can give help, but uh, I'm just having to resort to telling people. So there you go, 3darmy.org, register now. So I've been busy with the software, but I have still been processing my batteries. As you can see, behold, there's my marker, here it is, 1,500 cells. Now, let me give you the guided tour. These ones over here, these are my heaters, so obviously I can't use those. These guys here, uh, when I've harvested them, they've been uh, either dead or sat at zero volts. These guys here have come in at less than one volt. These ones here are self-discharging, so at any point during the testing, if they're self-discharging, they're dropping below 4 volts, they go in there. These bad boys have been tested, however, the capacity is just less than 1,500 milliamp hours. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. These guys start getting a bit more interesting now. These are 1,500 milliamp hours up to 2,000 milliamp hours. Mm, I'm thinking electric tricycle, electric skateboards, power tool, field chargers, don't know, you're probably more on that to come later on in the future. Now we're getting interesting. This is power wall territory. This, from here to here, are the batteries that will make it into the power wall. These are 2000 uh, to uh, 2200. 2200 to 2400, there's a load of numbers here, it's not relevant. 2400 to 2600, which is clearly the majority of the batteries, so I've got really good cells coming out of my testing system here. And these guys are 2,600 plus. Now, moving on. Here, these are the cells which I've harvested from the e-bike batteries, from the laptop batteries. They are sat there, they've all been tested, they're all over one volt, and they're waiting for their first charge. That's the humming and hissing you can hear in the background. Sorry about that, I should have turned those off. 
These guys have been charged once and are sitting and resting. They're waiting for the, the discharge test, which will follow in one month time. I've been doing a lot of discharging, as you can see, which is why there's a big, big gap here. And these guys at the end, now these have been charged. These have all been capacity tested as well. And these have all got the numbers written on. Can I do that without going out of focus? Do, do, do. I shouldn't look at my phone while I'm filming. Sorry, there we go. Yes, there it is there. So these guys are ready. So for example, that one, wow, look at that, 2,841. That may be a record. That could be the best battery I've ever tested. That will go into there. I've still got 150 laptop batteries <laughs> doing this in one take. I've still got 150 laptop batteries just over there, which I bought from Daniel. Uh, I've still got 500 laptop batteries to go and collect from Daniel. Don't sell them, Daniel. <laughs> I've also still got to deliver Pete's present to Daniel from when I pulled the prank on Pete. And I've also got a supply of batteries in Stockholm, which I've got to go and collect as well. There's still loads and loads and loads of batteries coming around. I've just been given some free batteries, which I'm going to do a video on probably in 10 minutes when I press stop on this, but I'll release that in a couple of weeks or so. Um, and there's still loads going on. So for now, it's just batteries, 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 cells, cells, cells. That's what's happening. That's what's going on right now. So the next big updates.com hashtag thing is I've joined Patreon. <laughs> I've had to join Patreon. Um, I have uh, began to do some pretty rigorous maths on the amount of power that not only we uh, consume over a month, but the amount of instant power that we need, uh, for example, to charge the electric car, which we've got. And the inverter which I was originally going to, uh, to buy was a 10 kilowatt hybrid um, inverter which is three phase, because we're three phase here, remember? Um, that's just not going to cut it. I can't charge the car and have the water heater on and the electric stove on. Uh, and all sorts. And I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to show you around the house at some point. Um, but I've become to realise, I've, I've began to realise that actually I need, I need better kit. So, a big shout out to uh, Daniel at DIY Tech and Repairs again. God, he's getting a lot of airtime on this video, isn't he? Um, he's been kind of pushing me to look at Victron. Uh, so I'm, I seem to be progressing more towards a, a better manufacturer, like someone like Victron. Uh, I'm very much open to commercial conversations regarding sponsorship, etc, etc, etc. However, in the meantime, I'm going to reach out and ask people to support the channel and the project on Patreon. Um, it wasn't my plan. I was never going to do that. But, you know, wow, has the world changed over the last three months with COVID-19 and everything else? Uh, so the project's costs and expenses are more than what I originally planned for. Plus. The world has changed a lot over the last few months. So there we have it. Uh, so you'll see me pushing um, for Patreon uh, membership. Now, I've already got exclusive content in there. I've been doing a few videos, a few posts, just to start building a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a portfolio in there. So if you please do consider to join the uh, Patreon uh, membership, then you're gonna get exclusive videos, more up close and personal behind the scenes uh, videos, slightly less edited and polished like this one, hopefully will end up like. Um, but what that means I can just get my phone out and film something and say, guys, what do you think of this? Or look what I'm doing with this? Or is this will this work? Or am I gonna kill myself or whatever? Uh, so. A loads more content in the uh, uh, in Patreon. However, I'm not stopping YouTube. Obviously, I'm going to see this project all the way through to the end. All I'm doing is I'm asking you to maybe consider buying a beer for me once a month, and it starts at five dollars. So yeah, please do consider that. I'd really, really appreciate that. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget 3darmy.org. 3darmy.org. If you're a 3D printing person thing. Why can't I speak today? It's too much coffee. That's what it is. <laughs> I've got a road trip coming up, which I'm going to do a film about. I'm going to modify some opuses. Oh, oh, did I? Opuses? Opi? Oh, oh, why? Yeah, okay, you know what I'm talking about. And don't forget to click on that. That's really important. That's really, really important. And the link to Patreon is below. Thanks, guys. Good night and goodbye.